Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says possible military options are on the table to counter reported aggression from Iran. The Pentagon plans to release photos it says supports its case that Iran was behind last week's attack on oil tankers in the Gulf of Oman. David Martin is at the Pentagon. David, what will these photos show us exactly? Good morning. The uh, U.S. officials say the photos will show remnants of one of those mines they believe uh, was planted on these tankers by the Iranian Navy. Uh, the Pentagon plans to use these photos to persuade still skeptical allies to join the Trump administration's campaign of maximum pressure against Iran. The world needs to unite against this threat from the Islamic Republic of Iran. On Face the Nation, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo argued Iran is to blame for the second attack on oil tankers in the Gulf of Oman in a month. The crew of one of the stricken tankers allegedly hit by Iranian mines arrived in the United Arab Emirates over the weekend and will become witnesses in the case. I'm confident that as we continue to develop the fact pattern, uh, countries around the world will not only accept the basic facts, which I think are indisputable, uh, but will come to understand that this is an important mission for the world. U.S. officials say the Iranian Navy tried to prevent the U.S. from gathering evidence after the attacks Thursday. Eight minutes after the first distress call, an American drone was overhead. Twenty-five minutes later, the Iranians tried but failed to shoot it down. When the second tanker was hit by explosions, the American destroyer Bainbridge immediately headed in its direction. But according to this Pentagon document, an Iranian patrol boat attempted to block it. Hours later, another Iranian boat came alongside the stricken tanker and removed what U.S. officials say is an unexploded mine attached to the hull. Although this video has left many countries unconvinced, Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff agrees with the intelligence assessment. We should be trying to corral a response, though, uh, from the international community to protect shipping, to impose sanctions. But because we have so alienated ourselves from our allies, that's not happening. The U.S. is working on plans to provide better protection for Persian Gulf shipping, plans which could involve sending thousands more troops. For its part, Iran announced overnight it will soon have more uranium, uranium stockpiled than was permitted under a nuclear agreement it signed with the Obama administration. Adriana? David, thank you.